Good afternoon. Hi. Welcome to the episode 95. Oh, wow. Uh, today, uh, my name is Norman Fang, and for those who are new with us, uh, this is Norman's Orchid Nursery, and we also, now Jeff, post this on the YouTube channel if uh, for our Norman Orchid channel at the YouTube. So if you haven't uh, uh, subscribed that one yet, go ahead and subscribe so that you can not notify when Jeff uh, posts a video in a couple of weeks. Okay, so I think today a lot of feedback is on the culture and especially, and I think I want to talk about this is right now is a spring season and it's very critical season of the year, not just for commercial grower, for collector and uh, even beginner, for example. Uh, I'm, so I went to a nursery and kind of uh, walk around and I'm going to give you an example and you can also post some question and I'm Jeff and Roger will start uh, read some comment uh, to me later. So I'm going to talk about starting with the, uh, I'm trying to be very, very general because I know we have audience from across the United States, you know, um, we are based in Southern California and so I'm going to give you an example of this is the whole tray of the novelty fan analysis in here okay and we have obviously we have thousand and thousand of orchids and and what happened with the fan analysis especially the novelty you notice that this one here. Okay, first thing you do is uh, what I call the, the spring cleaning. Okay, the staff, you should the, make sure you have no wee in any of this. Okay, so this is a big no no, and I know we are under staff, but we always try to make sure that, especially the, the azalea, before they the set the seed in the fall. In the springtime, in the winter time, remember? Right now, in the winter time, we generally speaking, we get in the fan analysis, especially the novelty, we get in more light, almost than the Catalina light. In fact, this is actually growing in the same greenhouse as the Catalina. But we can push that, that much light because uh, in the winter time, the light intensity is lower. Okay. But this, because uh, this should have been moved to the another, sh or the regular final office hall, but we did not have the staff or in a time. So this is actually one of the, the number. Uh, don't ask me what number, but these are the novelty fan analysis with a lot of Benina, Valencia, and Borins is the background. Okay, so they actually exposed to a lot of light in the winter time. Okay, so this is how with the, with the optimum light, as more light, you get two flower spikes on the first room. And these all have the regular uh, five cent, the mega drive, the normal circuit. Occasionally, this is the, you see this. Okay, this is all the same tissue culture. These are same chrome. Okay, so this is supposed to be gold, very uniform. So this is the case. Obviously, this is the one we, I'm going to take it, take it aside. All this is going to move to the shadier house. So what we're going to do is, this is the case, you see here, there's nothing wrong with the plant. This is almost a borderline of sunburn. Okay, if I leave it in the, the greenhouse where the Catalina is, I leave it for, and that this week, Yesterday is 90 degree Fahrenheit, and we keep the greenhouse there below 85 degree. So this is why, when it's bright and hot, okay, you're getting more this light color. If I leave it here for another two weeks, I would definitely get a sunburn. And the reason this one here, now this is all tissue culture. The reason this one here has so much trouble, and I can all when. Every time when you see the print like this, growing smaller than this, 
always set the root because it did not have a, a chance to establish. location do I have to start over again I think we're, no 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 So, this is the tray that we're going to move the beautiful. I have to put it into a different location. If you go in under light, uh, in the winter time, you can, you, can actually, uh, you can actually push them a little bit with a GIF, a higher light for Catalina. But as soon as they have the, the spike coming up, okay, I'm gonna move the whole tray, or if you have a greenhouse, I'm gonna move them to a shadier location so this area will darken it up. The one form behind definitely would need to do something about it. Obviously, it, the same batch, it did not have a good root. took off issue Se separated them is not going to solve the issue because the, obviously the root is not not good so I we the what we can do is downsize it to a smaller part okay but it's really wet okay so I, what I'm going to do is save this for next week okay and you see here so you never want to go back to the same uh, you can go uh, same size apart you can actually I can even go smaller into 2.5 you can choose you can choose between the uh, the moss or the bark but in this case this is my mega thrive solution every day we always have a mega you always make out your mega thrive fresh after 24 hours because there's no preservatives it's all organic uh, there's some uh, enzyme in there and also some sugar in there uh, it will gonna get, get more okay so you always use mega thrive fresh uh, if you have extra mega thrive go ahead and, and then dump it in your in the poly media it's okay so what I'm going to do is this is make a threat solution okay. I'm gonna really focus on the root area and then spread the leaf top and down and then I'm not going to repot it right away I'm gonna put this back here here and I'm gonna put them uh, in a very very dark location uh, usually uh, we have an area almost uh, half of the light as a regular light and I'm gonna let them sit in the the nursery okay uh, there's a nursery area for example really dark and cool and then we take we do that next time uh, I don't want to do that right away because that that way that give me I want to have an opportunity to spray make up twice several times uh, a week before I repot them okay there but there are some orchid for example all right this is the case it's not sunburned there are some plants genetically love look at the leaf okay this is the case of this is actually has shuria uh, shuria in the background but this plant for example genetically if you get in a lot of light they get this 
reddish marking. So a lot of you love in the fair analysis, you love in the Catalina, and then you have a lot of lavender in the background. Don't panic if a light, if a leaf give you kind of reddish color, that's part of the DNA. Okay, just like some people faster okay so all right so this is case it's fine now I'm gonna put show this one here what about this case okay now this is a, a leaf a genetically reddish color and some variety for example this will always give you kind of reddish tone especially on the new leaf so that's okay and then this is the one of the, the uh, more unusual ray fan enough ray fan analysis so a lot of time you cannot just generalize it okay now uh, it's actually very good that we actually saw this I'm going to show you what the snow mall looks like hey jeff uh roger can you see this do you see that this is the a, a perfect case of the snow ball mall okay uh what is snow mall okay snow mall the this you see here it doesn't kill orchid you see this the mall it, this is a couple of fungi you see here this is the mycelium this is what the underground of the fun um, of the mall the fungi the mycelium this type of the mall is actually it does not kill orchid but it's actually it's going to start consume all the mix they, this this can happen in bark uh, in moss so this is perfect case the best you have to repot them you get it get it out of the moss okay and this is what happened when uh, this particular one is uh, because sometimes we get a lot of source of uh, uh, see here it's going to be become a uh, almost like cake and that way when they become all solid blanket of the white mold just on the top when you water them it's, it's hard for water to penetrate and also cut down the nitrogen the air into the root so oh you see here they are the mycelium is actually eating all the moss make the moss pre uh premature decompose okay so so you see here they so decompose they are actually eating it doesn't kill the the this mall doesn't kill the root or doesn't kill the orchid but it does the, they love to eat the moss the eat the bark okay so this is why it's so important we say once a month a small teaspoon per gallon of water okay and another way to prevent this also is to add a tablespoon per gallon of water when you are pre uh, within your moss okay so on the plant we all use a small teaspoon it's best because the, the, the consistency of the moss this is organic you never know so use a tablespoon per gallon of water of the fison solution when you get your moss take it a bucket and then soak it overnight at least 24 hours that will kill the mold or prevent the mold okay so this when you have the mold like this and good this is this is why i we inspect the nursery it work when we see something like this get it out of get it out of okay all right and you do you can discard them or just put it outside for compost uh once they hit the sun they, they die they they will they will kill 
by by the heat. Okay, so now I have a this is another bucket of five cent solution, but I make it stronger at a tablespoon per gallon of water of five cent. So what I want to make sure then if you have an all toothbrush, this is why you, I don't throw it don't throw away your old toothbrush. You want to make sure you brush up all this more away from the root. It doesn't kill the root, but it before you repot them into your new mix, you want to make sure this are all brush off. Otherwise, if you go into the new bark or new mix, all this mold will go into your new mix. The print is still healthy. Look at it. Right. Okay. This infects. And my makeup right here. We do this next week. I will do, will show you repotting. So we we'll put this aside. And I'm gonna put it in a reduced area. And and in this case, versus this one got sunburned. I'm not going to spray them just one application of mega is enough. And tomorrow or next day, I will, if I have to make a dry, you can always only spray the leaf. In this case, I do. You do want to make sure you, you make the root dry now. By leaving the root on the drier side, you're going to cut down or actually eliminate the mold that might be there. Okay. Put it back in. The, the label is there. So we put this aside on a shady location. Okay, got it taken care of. Okay, here's another one. I went to the nursery. What do you think of this one? Did you see this here? Okay. This is the uh, the nice thing about the novelty phenomenopsis is the sequential flower <laughs> the sequential flower okay so this is so in the springtime this time of year cut this off this is actually die back naturally so i'm gonna cut this sometimes we don't usually cut them until they die back okay Now, I'm kind of troubled by this, and this is actually, you see, you ha this happened a lot in the springtime, okay? What ha what's happening is, the longer day length, and the warmer day, and warmer night, it, the plant is going to a different philosophy, different physiology, going to more a uh, growing stage. But so they actually need a lot of more nutrients. To, su to support the new leaf coming up and the new growth. But this, under a regular well-maintained plant, should not happen like this. So you always check the root system. Aha, you see here? I think this is the case. Got over water. Oh, okay. Ooh, look at this, okay. So this is the time, if I didn't cut this, so this is the time, go inspect, if, even for under light grower, okay, I want to remove this. If you do not re do something about this one here, this right now, it didn't boom in and they, there's no new root to come out here. See here? Oh, okay. That's okay. We have thousands and thousands. So, you know, X, you see here? Uh, this is why sometimes I do not recommend soaking 
the plant. Uh, the plant like this, if you are soak using the bucket of water to soak a lot of plant, this is the type of plant. If you soak it in the bucket of water, and the next one that like, into the bucket of water, you're gonna contaminate the plant. So this is why it's very important for you only please you only soak the plant. Uh, if you have some five cent diluted solution, okay, that actually is a is a insurance. So this is why I always in, go to the nurse, go walk around. Look at this. Here, there's nothing we can do. Even if you drench a five cent once a month, it just happened. Okay, uh, fungus. A fungi is part of nature, it's part of the survival. Uh, it's in the air. Okay, but this is the type of fungi that do attack or the, the root, very different than the snowball that we saw earlier. Oh wow, look at this. We're gonna do a root pruning. Anything, it does not look good. And I'm gonna keep the flower spike there. The root, if if the, the because the flowers is still very firm, they're not drooping, so they're healthy. If the plant is really stressed and limping, then I will go ahead and cut off the spike to preserve the plant. In this case, I think the plant will be okay because all they really need to do is oh my goodness, the root. Okay, I'm gonna take. Use the Fison here. A lot of Fison solution. Crack. Okay. Use the Fison solution. Okay. To really rinse out. Now, I want to get dump. We can throw away the pot. I don't like the pot. Got fungi. Okay. I'm gonna let it rest. and keeping the print dry and so we're going to pot this up next week okay remember this at the meantime don't spray the root during this week until next saturday fight a uh, mega thrice solution and put it in another dark moist location okay If you do this at home, if you don't want to wait until next week, you can actually, I would prefer that it, not, that it kind of too dry them out for two to three days. At the, at the meantime, just um, do mega dry spray. Look at this. Okay, so just make sure you dump this out of your, uh, put it in a uh, trash can. Don't even, don't, don't even put it in your yard. Uh, no compost because uh, this is the bad stuff into eat, even to into your compost. Okay, you don't you do not want to cultivate even more fung uh, bad fungi in there. Okay. Uh, depend on the public. This is why sometimes people uh, you can also wear the uh, disposable glove uh, on this. What else should we talk about? Uh, I also okay. Here's another good example. This is a raw, uh, raw child they in a hybrid. And a lot of people will say, oh, when they see this, they get really nervous. Okay, uh, all I say is, that's okay. This is part of, this is the part of the leaf is from five or six years ago. They are old. So, I'm gonna see, and, and I'm not really want to. They are ready for repot, but it's still too small to repot. So don't worry. You can spray five cent solution on this. It's they're not disease. They're not rotting. They just part of the stenosis uh, going forward. But if it really bothers you, you can actually use the clean razor blade. Okay. I, for me, I I do not like to use a razor, uh, razor blade tool because that it, in case you don't got clean tool, 
you just simply just break break it away on this and then setting them aside I will want to see them go another uh, two to three weeks and this is actually you can uh, pip off this tip burn might be you can simply uh, trim them off okay what about this one here this is Patrick Padian Bob Brasted is he here this is oh look at this Bob Brasted what do you think will cost this well this is why the, di di the diagnosis uh, uh, one possibility is when uh when the pathopedium especially multi-floor uh we always do it by hang water we water from the the base okay this could be when the the, the uh the staff is watering they might the water might have there might be water from the top the water got stay in here you will not have a problem with here because if the water goes down here, they drain from the bottom. Watch out for this one here. I bet you 70%, the water probably got stay here overnight. It got collected with the water. So, and it's just the right time, right place, and the right time. Uh, the fungi was present and it cut. So this is why you want so see here so when that happens go ahead and remove this yes okay yes you see here so this is the one from last week okay never got okay so it so this is the when they are Green like this. Okay. When they are wide open like this, they are become yellow. I, so I was just when they yellow like this, I can just peel them off. So that way, you cannot have a chance to collect water. Okay. So when when something like in flower. I know a lot of people, is, especially in Florida, it, it, yeah, the hot, yeah, every people have overhead watering. When the plant have, when you have orchid in flower, Phenonopsa carrier, take it away from your overhead watering system. Sip, so, and uh, put it under the gutter of the house. So this always had to do hang water, no overhead watering, especially Pepipedium. They have a pouch. The pouch do collect water and the water will have more. So the rest of the floor might be still okay, but this the the more the water stay here might be uh, become a more. So, but if that happen, if it's just if the water go down there, you just had a pan, make sure you just tilt it, make sure the water drain out of it. How are we doing so far? Okay. Okay, so we have half this. Okay, so this one here. See, this one here versus the new shoe here. This is actually a perfect state to go repot. And I showed you the repot on the previous one. So go ahead. And repot it because it have so much. It doesn't have a lot of so the, the root is the root bound. So the, this is going. That's okay. This is going to the nest. This is the perfect time to repot this one now. Okay. So if you're not sure about repotting them, I think we have a uh, go back to the the one on the pathopedium previous week. Okay. So this is why do not repot it too small. Set them on the side. Okay. This this one particular case, uh, since that they are in flower, I do not want to repot them. 
okay we lost one but so it's still on the old mix this is the case the old mix doesn't hold as much water so keep an eye on them you might want to water as much as twice a week uh, when uh, multi-floor Rothschild Delirium they are in, in spike they need a lot of water make sure you also keep up with the water or the feeding they, need, they use a lot of feeding uh, at this time of year so make sure you uh, in March right now everything grow everything looking for more water more nutrient because the day length is getting longer okay no longer six hours of sunlight anymore so this is the time you want to supplement with your your fertilizer so uh, our routine here always known as ottoman fertilizer we use that formulation year round okay uh the take care of everything so keep, keep up with the watering uh here is one of the rough that we used as an example last week all right like this we cut the spike off we trim off some of the older leaf okay then still don't do anything because it still waiting for the new growth to come out so the worst thing you can do right now is to repot them because raw they read them they, when they just finish their flowering stage okay they, they almost like they have a, they are going to found the flowering mall of stage before they go into the vegetative stage okay they need some time off okay the slow growing multi flow like this it cannot turn on and off like phenolysis for example right away so they, this is why they are slow grower and uh, it takes seven years minimum seven years to to uh, to bloom so we had to understand anything that is uh, slow growing the multi flow the catalea for example uh, you do not want to push them you know if you do it reparting right now because oh, I'm busy and this is the only time I have well you can do it but they might not like it then you're gonna pay for it okay because the plant is not ready to go into vegetative stage which means you can reparten right now but they're not ready to put a new root yet without new root system coming up what we just had the fan announced earlier everything's gone and the plant start uh, if you know root coming up the leaf will start dehydrated and will go downhill from there so always observe your plant okay don't do anything that they do not want to do okay obviously you don't want to do that to yourself also okay a lot of this australia dendrobium i just it's fun to look at australian dendrobium for example look at it this is from this is the one from Christmas time okay the finish okay and look at this wow and this is why I like this type of dendrobium I'll see dendrobium uh, and also with New Guinea this is the time see they flower they rebloom on every can even the old can this is a very good strong plant so this is the in this is March time okay. use this time to do the spring cleaning okay the suitable have mature so they become dry sheet so I would sometimes easier to wet wet them okay this way you can prevent any of the scale mini bar that might hide inside here okay and if the arrow root this is happy if the root is firm leave it there in this case they are dry already so they you can actually do some haircut because they did not they're not live anymore okay I only leave the one we is dry so that this one here is firm I'll we'll leave it there and do some trimming okay so and this way Look at this. This is what I love this type of dendrobium. Look at it. And when the season comes, any of the old growth is, is rebooming. 
and this is coming up again. Okay. Here's another species. Okay, this is from this is Dendrovium Fermentera. Okay, uh, we have don't worry about the number. We have this coming up. This is amazing. This is why I like the Dendrovium species. This is from New Guinea. They flower two, three times a year in California. So in Florida, they flower for, they flower for, uh, flower at least four times a year. Here, this is a very, very handsome species. Uh, can you focus on the flower? The back is really exotic. It's like a little hair. Okay. All right. And this species would never get aphid because aphid were not able to land anything here because they're so sticky. Yeah. So this is the only this is the species that is really uh, pest free. But this is the, the end of the season now. Okay. So this is the time to do. Hey, this is the same thing with your catalytic. You do that with catalytic too. Clean up all your this suitable, and then. See, you make a difference. So this is why presentation is important, especially for you to take it to orchid society for your judging. A lot of society are open up uh, for meeting now. When you clean up like this, it's go. It's the judges do not like to see an uh, undisciplined and really all uh, um, kind. A uh, clean up like this. If I didn't clean it, it might get a blue, uh, red or blue, uh, yellow or uh, 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 white. Clean under this, full open, it will get a nice blue ribbon. And uh, uh, so, oh, by the way, this species is NF. If, if, if anybody can grow Cataria, grow this species. It's amazing. Uh, this is one of my favorite species. It's NF2750. Sorry. It love to be Rupa. Okay, it can be here for another year. Uh, this is four or five years old. Again, I'm going to clean this up. It's so vigorous. It got a new growth coming up. And they had a fragrance of cucumber. Remember the cucumber? Yes, it does. It's very, very refreshing cucumber. And this is what I said, sequential bloomer. This is from Christmas. On the same can, it rebloom again. So they can, they keep going on and on as you give them good fertilizer, good light, and they love humidity. So if you're in Houston, outdoor, this time of year, leave it outside. In Florida, South Florida, with all the humidity you have, they become a big surprise specimen in no time okay again i'm going to clean this up as, as, as long as they become yellow like this i'm going to clean them look at it look at how much moisture they collect here so by doing this i can prevent a lot of fungi that i should stay inside if they are good green like this don't don't worry about it. just leave it alone but just make sure you strip shave them off and that's the way with this species grow, okay? If you really want to impress your neighbor, and have a nice conversation topic. This is one of the, the dragon dendrovium. If you can cross out the flower, it looks like a dragon face. Okay, that's how the, the local in New Guinea call them, okay? And they can do a lot of stuff in bed too. I think one of my customers used this to, for massage. Really tinkering. All right. Here's another case. Hi. What look at this. Bellina Valencia, the baby prayer. What do you think? This is the time when you have spring cleaning. This is the time of year. Okay, see, we are need to start going 
this is why we do things. We, the grower will go to go take, go to the process, take out the biggest one. See, when you become overlapping, they do not get water. Okay. So this is from C. This is actually a samurai of indigo type. This is about three years old. So we, we're going to take, make sure we take out all, we're going to go through them, take out all the biggest one. All the constant is, a, it's easier when you're a private collection that when you don't have a lot of print. But when we do have a lot of print like this, okay, what do you think what happened to this? We have a lot of people have issue with this right now. And this happened a lot this time of the year. Remember, we get in a lot of light in the summer, in the winter time. This is, a, is not the disease. This is was here. This is the case sometime in the greenhouse. It hit the spot on the west side. This is the case of sunburn, also lack of nutrient. Okay, so a lot of occasionally, even on the uh, shrub in the landscape, they need a lot of water. So this is the case. We're gonna repot them and then put it in the shady area. So you can darken off the leaves. In the winter time, we get more light, but because cold, we do not heat the greenhouse as much, you know, to save energy. Uh, we, we run it print, we run it at night temperature only 60 instead of 65. So and at the same time, because low temperature, so the grow, the grow rate is smaller. If because I, I wish I can just do uh, bottom heating, like the heat map, for example. Uh, so we do at the, we do not feed it as much in the winter time. So the, when the March come, April come, the daylight is getting longer. The plant itself need a lot of need, uh, fertilizer. Okay. And when they do not get enough fertilizer, they, this is what happened. Okay. So we take out all the big ones. These are all from seed. This is why this from seeding they are at, they grow at different ratio. Okay. And uh, they nothing wrong with the plant. They just sometimes they got the, the, over the winter they got overlap. So this is a good chance to, for me to space up, clean them up. Okay. We do not use fungus like here, and this is why I, I say the plant is set, the plant uh, because we apply five and once a month, okay, as a preventative. The plant does have a defense system, and this is a success story. They are actually bracket, okay. This could be from a, a from starting from a fungal infection, but the plant itself bracket isolation so with, uh, if you see that happen I'm also going to use this opportunity here on a crane you can use razor braid crane leave it dry okay so guess how old this is this is two year out of flask Two year. This plant are these are two years old. These are Violacea indigo type. They're very slow grower. This is why orchid are what they are. Everything is we take the time to grow them. We do not push them with high nitrogen or anything. We just take really uh, if you push the plant too much, the plant become weak. Uh, and you got more and you got more present disease problem. So, okay, so we're gonna leave the tray. Now it's all cleaned up. This is big enough. Okay, to repot. 
another screen in. Oh, good. Now we have more space to clean in. If you go under light, uh, uh, some of the tray, growing tray like this is, is wonderful that because you can actually uh, use it as a, to space out the plant. Okay. this it will be for Monday for my staff to repot them okay no building drovian what do you think guys what's wrong with this well, beside the obviously, the we. Have you guys noticed anything about this one? Come on. Where's the flower? Okay. This is the case of, remember we talked about the novel dendrobium in the fall? They like to be dry out, let them really dry to drop the leaf which they did, but my grower thought, oh, this is a small plant. She's very hot, very soft, hot. She thought, oh, this is a, she, she thought she's gonna kill the plant. So she started watering too early. So instead of have flower bud, what happened? All the flower bud, just like that, changed from flower bud to kiki and also they I believe uh, they probably got hit with fertilizer remember when they were drying up you don't know water no feeding so anything with so with the extra water and the feeding with the nitrogen so it's kind of triggered the the plant to this well it's good and bad the bad side is you don't see flower well, well, what? <laughs> see, this is all tissue culture. Okay, that's okay. So, when life give you lemon, let's make some lemonade. Okay. Okay, everybody have my normal two in one cakey paste? Okay. Scissory cakey I'm gonna make sure that I will put some here. That this way will encourage the rapid new root formation. As soon as the new root come out, and this is about two inches, I can separate them. Okay. Look at this. Even the suit, even the backbone here, have a cake here. Okay. I by doing so, I'm actually going to encourage them to have more root come out faster. Once you have a new uh, com root come out about two to four inches, I can break it away. Otherwise, poor plant, poor little plant, uh, Maristem, is supporting so many keiki. If the plant might die if you try to support so many. So I wanna, okay, so this is what, so this is like this here. Yes, uh, tomorrow, if you, you can actually, the, the Jamie can actually, uh, you can pick back uh, this, is essential. Okay, I have, uh, one, I have one in my pocket when I go to the nursery, where I tap, tap, tap. Okay, so this is the case of, instead of give you flour, every note that have flour become a cakey. So, if you do the cakey paste on this, this will, this will make sure it has a rapid development of the root at the base, okay? As, as soon as the root come out, then we can separate them. And then you have a, this is actually one way of propagation. Okay. If I'm teaching the class, 
on uh, propagation on orchid uh, I would this is actually would instead of uh, instead of flower uh, flower water a lot heat them with uh, fertilizer normal fertilizer had nitrogen there and then put it in the warm house so that triggered the the from flowering stage to become vegetative stage and think about this is how we propagate kiki from here okay so this is why I say uh, when life give you lemon it may eliminate so all this cakey later on you can save them okay you can save extra copy for yourself a collection or sometimes you can actually donate to your society or you can trade orchid trade cakey with other friend of yours okay so this is what happened all right are we doing okay Yeah, I think we're okay with that. I think I cover. Oh, the next one here. What about the evergreen dendrobium? Okay, the evergreen dendrobium. Okay, this is the dendrobium, the worm grower, not the nobio dendrobium. Okay. Repart or not repart? Yes or no? Okay, I said no. You know why? Because I'm waiting for the shoot to come out longer. And my, always the rule of thumb, I don't care if it's Cymbidium, Teraria, Dendrobium, Nobio. When you always wait until the new shoot to at least two to four inches. Okay, the reason this is still emerging right now because the, the season just began for them. It's a long day, so they, they so leave it along like this we don't repart them and actually uh, this is the case I might not necessarily have to repart them because uh, the, the root area is good the polymic is good so all you have to do on this one here for example to stack it presentation okay you still have one year of space before they, they walk out the pot and this is the type of thing a lot of the dendrobium for example the Curtis twinkle the they have the uh, the Australian dendrobium they have those are one with a curly petal they can rebroom from the old can so I can I already see this is coming up so see here this is the eye here and then the old can here have an eye see here the green tip here so inspect make a make a, a judgment but do some spring cleaning some of the old root is not good anymore you can cut them off hey and then resume to your feeding the water they can use a lot of water now okay Now we also have Jamie show you some of the leafless orchid earlier, but this is not the nobio type dendrobium. This is the type from the Philippines. Okay, and remember the Nastor dendrobium parisii, dendrobium uh, anustum type. They always. This is the, not they're not as hardy as the nobio type dendrobium because they're from Philippines, but they stay, they are good okay to go down to about 40, 45, 50. Remember, I think Jamie did a, a talk to get watch through earlier, and they were the, 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 the just yellow the leaf. We don't water them. Okay, now the, right now, you see here, all the leaf drop. And then we start watering because for this type, uh -huh. you see here, every note. This is the, the, the can from last summer's grow. So they got beautiful can grow. These are all different variety. This is Nastor, okay. MC317, they are in spike right now. Okay, this is the lavender one. Okay, don't, and this is the blue one. Depend on this is the pink one. Depend on the genetic. Uh, this is the type you can beautiful. You can go on uh, mountain on the tree if you in South if you live in uh, Orlando and South. Uh, 
the flower for Mother's Day. So this type, you can actually start watering now. Okay, don't worry. They, once they have flower buds forming like this, you can start to resume the watering, which we did. And also get a nice early start for the, this is the growth for this coming summer. Uh, don't worry, I will do a, a one session just on this type of dendrobium for you, okay? So this, so for this type, NASA type, the tropical type, it's okay to start watering now, okay? And, and also feeding. They will not do like the no-bio type that give you kiki, okay? So this is the example of the, the no-bio type. So the no-bio type, if you don't right, then all the leaves drop, okay? Instead of cakey, they every flower form. Okay. If I water, to, if I water too early, and feed them. Now I can start feeding them because everything is all set. See the difference? Okay. So they love stress. In natural, in in the wild, the stress telling the plant that they might be dying so they will have flower and the uh, flower is for propagation okay so just like raising your kid don't give in don't spoil your kid don't give them too much this is what happened when you give them too much T or C okay this is good all right so this will complete uh, this week's uh, session okay